Hello everybody, so this is the STM32 one F103 C8 T6 uh, board. Uh, this is nicknamed the black pill because uh, there was a red board that was called the red pill and the blue board that was called the blue pill, uh, reference to uh, the Matrix movie. And then this one came came up uh, came out so it was dubbed the uh, black pill uh, the blue pill has 5 volt output the, uh, bl the black pill does not have uh, uh, 5 volt output so it's 3.3 uh, only uh, so the idea here is uh, uh, I'm using this for the on step uh, telescope controller and on step is a project that is uh, started by Howard Dutton it's uh, it's a great way to build a telescope controller based on open source firmware and uh, readily available components. Um, this particular board is only $3 on uh, eBay, so that's uh, a way of cutting down the cost rather than using a TNC 3.2 or TNC 3.6, which are uh, in the tens of dollars. Um, um, this one runs at 72 megahertz and has uh, uh, 128 uh, kilobytes of flash and 20 uh, uh, kilobytes of RAM. So uh, initially I didn't think that this would work uh, because uh, on step requires about 100k of uh, flash to uh, to load the program and this board is advertised as 64 or 128 but it seems that the vast majority of the these boards are uh, um, hundred and twenty eight uh, K so I'll start this up and let you uh, see what it's doing so I connected the uh, the board to uh, the USB port on my on my laptop okay and as you can see the uh, the light of the for the tracking is flashing and this means that uh, the this controller is doing sidereal tracking. So if if you uh, get uh, get it connected to motors, then they would be tracking the sky. So anyways, the so this is so now what I'm going to do is to uh, uh, connect the the board uh, to uh, SkyChart or CardiCL, the program that uh, that can use to control uh, telescopes. So here it is, and I'm going to uh, first show you the connection. Okay, so the connection is, uh, there is nothing fancy, you just need to get the, the correct port that's there. I'm using Linux, but you can do the same in, in, uh, in Windows or Mac if you wish. Or even a Raspberry Pi. So what I'll do is I'll connect and said port cannot be opened so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just disconnect it, disconnect the port and then connect it back. It takes a little bit for the port to uh, to get recognized by the drivers okay so you can see the port here is doing sidereal tracking the 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 board is doing sidereal tracking okay so the connection is successful because you see the green uh, the green thing so i'll just exit that dialog and then uh, what i'll do is i'll i'll uh, I'll say, uh, let us assume that uh, the telescope is pointing here and what I'll do is that I'll say sync. So basically looking, looking through the telescope, I center that star, okay, and then I'll uh, do a sync on it. And it tells me, are you sure that the, uh, it is centered and then I'll say yes. And it should give me a, a, the, the circles showing where the scope is pointing. Now what I'll do is that I'll, 
I'll say uh, point now move the scope I'll say move the scope here so I'll just say slew and you can see the circle where the where the scope is pointing is now shifted towards the new star okay I'll also show you that when uh, when I'm pointing to another star Okay, what, I'll, what, I'll, what it will do is that it will stop the tracking, so, so basically it won't be sidereal tracking and because OnStep knows that uh, it's not tracking. So look, look here now, I'm going to press, I'm going to press this, the slew button, okay, so one, two, three, and you see that the, it stopped flashing, which means the scope is moving, and now it, uh, it is uh, it is tracking. Another thing I want to show you is that I'm using an oscilloscope to to show that the the signal that's coming out of the pin that is uh, supposed to be the step uh, pin is showing is showing a square wave coming out. Okay, so you can see that it's a nice square wave, which is what we expect. So it means that on step is working fine on this chip. Um, uh, I'm, I don't have an oscilloscope at home, so I had to come here to the local maker space. It's called Quartz Lab, and uh, it's a great place. So they have a public night every Tuesday, and uh, so I was able to come here and verify that uh, on step is working. Now. Another thing to, to note is, uh, is that the STM32 is not fully working yet. There, there is one showstopper, which is basically the um, uh, EEPROM emulation. Uh, basically, the, the uh, STM32 platform, has a, there is a project to support it on Arduino called STM32 Duino. And the STM32 Duino um, uh, uses the flash on the board to emulate the EEPROM. Uh, now this is not working for some reason and it is something to have to be the, have to be debugged. Uh, what I'm thinking of is getting an, an RTC uh, uh, real-time clock which has uh, an, an, an EEPROM chip with, uh, in it. This, uh, this uses I square C and the, the good thing about it is that uh, um, it will do two birds with one stone. Uh, I looked on eBay and uh, this is like one dollar fifty, and uh, we will have EEPROM and we will have as well as an RTC so uh, to retain the date and time and uh, and other settings. Um, the rest of the of the uh, of building the uh, the controller would be mostly the same as as. Uh, as before, uh, so stepper drivers and some power control circuits and uh, and other minor stuff uh, to be done. So I'll put links to uh, the relevant things in the description of this video and hope uh, this is useful and look forward to a, a low cost option for building an on-step controller. Thanks, goodbye.